Hello everybody, my name is Nashio and welcome back to Undertale. Let's get straight into it because I am excited to play the game. We are here outside of Toriel's house. Um, about to get some cookies maybe. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here. I have another surprise for you. Well, isn't this lovely? Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. What about this one? These books are worn. They must have been read many times. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. I kind of forgot what Toriel's voice was. Is something burning? Um. Make yourself at home. Like, I remember, but whoops. Ooh, it's very red, isn't it? Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Oops, I didn't mean to jump into bed already. Is pie. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Is butterscotch cinnamon pie good, do you think? I can't imagine it is. Doesn't seem like two flavors that would. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Oh, that's kind of concerning. Ooh, a lamp. Nice. I hate that our bed is like floating in the middle of the corner <laughs> and not up against the walls. Let's see what else is in the house. If you know, you know. Okay, this big sunflower looking thing. And then a blue room. Is this Toriel's room? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Yes. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> the rest of the passage is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. So terrible ones. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundry of plants. You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. The goat wear socks. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. Okay. We're not going to sleep in Toriel's bed, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. A room under renovations. It's you. Oh, this is if you know you know. It's you. It is me, look at that. In a reflection, how nice. I was impressed when games do reflections. I just played um, Rental, which is a kind of a horror game that's kind of in between Animal Crossing and Silent Hill. Um, I'll put a card in the corner. And it also had reflections and I was also very impressed with it. Let's go downstairs first before we talk to Toriel. Downstairs? Uh, let's not go downstairs before we talk to Toriel. <laughs> okay. You look cozy, ma'am. Let's, let's see what books are here. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier of a fearful of... Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth, we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. <laughs> As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names, I'd say. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Fireplace? The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? Oh, We'll say nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. I'm being completely honest, I forget what Toriel's deal is in this game. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. I forget if we're supposed to be nice to her or mean to her. 
There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Um, should I ask her or should I just go downstairs? Let's go downstairs. Yeah, I forget if Toriel, like, if she's purely nice or if she's, like, kind of sinister. I, I think you should play upstairs instead. Okay. Maybe we have to ask her when we can go home. Okay. Will do. Hey, Toriel. Did you want to hear the book about the book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Uh oh. Do you think she's in her room? I think probably. Look at this carpet. I didn't say anything about it before, but it's very retro, very 70s. Oh, I bet she's in the under renovation room, huh? Okay, well, we'll leave. I really like how every location in this game has like a really strong color identity. Like, this room is very beige, it's very muted, muted warm tones. Oh, she's here. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No, I want to leave. I want to leave. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you not understand? Go to your room. I feel like Toriel's voice has changed drastically from the first episode. I apologize. Do not try and stop me. This is your final warning. I don't think she was so British when I did her last time. You want to leave so badly? Humph. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm terrible at the combat. Toriel blocks the way. We're not going to fight her. We're going to talk to her. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Shit. 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 What if I just stay there? Okay. What if I check her? Toriel, attack 80, def 80. Attack 80, defense 80. Knows best for you. Over, oh, over here seemed to work well last time. Okay. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Let's talk to her. You tried to think of something to say again, but... Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, oh, why? That was so much. Toriel takes a deep breath. Talk. <clears throat> Ironically, the talking does not seem to be the solution in this situation. I'm not gonna attack her. Ow! Oh, I'm so bad with a controller. This is gonna be so problematic. <laughs> Toriel looks through you. Can we mercy her? Flee. Oh, we escaped. That is right. Go upstairs. No! What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Okay, we can't flee. Can we just mercy her? Spare? No, she did not find that funny. Oh, that was so... <laughs> was so good. I think she might have to kill us. It says that talking was not the solution, so I don't really want to talk. Do we have an item we can use? The pie! You ate the butterscotch pie, your HP was maxed out. Oh, that's not what I thought it was gonna do. I thought it might give her some, like, nostalgia. You know, snap her out of it, but... <laughs> um, spare? You probably should not have eaten that pie. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. I may have to switch to mouse and keyboard, you know. Um, act. Yeah, there's really nothing that we can do, I think. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Yeah, this isn't gonna- fuck. <laughs> 
Um, I don't want to fight her. Spare. Oh, no, I just ran into that myself. Spare again. Oh, she had a question mark that time. Does that mean anything? Jesus. <laughs> Spare? What are you doing? That was definitely not the voice. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Spare. Attack or run away! I'm not going to attack, Toriel. Ooh! <gasps> She's refusing to attack us now. Her projectiles are moving away from us. She's having a, a moment of, of clarity. What are you proving this way? Ugh, oh, this is why this game is so delightful. Toriel looks through you. Spare. Fight me or leave! I'm, I'm not even trying to do the voice now. Toriel looks through you. We're just gonna keep sparing her. Stop it! Oh, look at her expression. She feels remorseful. You can tell. Spare. Stop looking at me that way! What, should we flee now? Let's do spare a couple more times. Go away! It said fight or flee, so I don't want to flee. That's what she wants me to do. So we'll just keep sparing her. For now, at least. We'll see how this goes. She is just dot dot dotting us now, though. Oh, there we go. I know you want to go home, but... Spare. But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Huh. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Aw, Toriel. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, I'm sorry, Doriel. I feel bad for being suspicious of her now. Goodbye, my child. No! She's taking one last look. <laughs> Toriel, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna betray your wishes and and um and come back, but oh, what a that was that genuinely made me feel bad for Toriel. Oh, I feel like I did a bad thing, but I think that was the right choice: not attacking, not fleeing, but instead making her see the error in her ways. So I'm thinking about her words there before we move on to the next area. I'm thinking about what she said. So she says she couldn't even save one child, which implies that there's been many children who have fallen down here and each of them have left, have chosen to leave just like we're doing now. She hasn't convinced anybody to stay with her in the safety of her home. Ah, oh, shit. This motherfucker. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. I bet you didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die! Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? 
I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Jesus, that's terrifying. That's really haunting. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, that flower's voice, don't know if it's the same. I just went with my gut feeling, hoping that last time I also went with my gut feeling for what that character's voice should be. Undertale. Okay, so that was basically like the intro by Toby Fox. Hell yeah, Toby Fox. And now we start into the big wide world of home. Ooh, there's a camera hidden in the bushes. What the fuck? Fucking, what's that movie called? With the person that's stuck in the fake world with the cameras and the big dome. Y'all know what I'm, I'm getting at. This is the part of the game that I remember the most. Everything here in Snowden Town. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't. Ah, shit, it broke behind me. Eek. This part scared me as a kid. Ah! <laughs> even though I know who that is, it scares me. <laughs> it scares me even more knowing who that is. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Oh no! It's finally happening. Oh, what the- what's- what voice should I give this character? Oh, what a difficult decision. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> oh, Sans. There's the music. Hey, 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 the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? I get the impression, considering the noise that plays when he speaks is very low, that he's supposed to have a low voice. But I don't have a very low voice, so I can't really do low voices, so this is what we're going with. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. I, I've done like four different voices already, sorry. I've, I said this before, I suck at voices, <laughs> so we're just gonna try our best. Hey, actually, I think it's that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through it. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. What's up, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to take a look? No! I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all of the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask, to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Huh. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and... Boondockle, whatever the hell that means. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work to do today. A skeleton. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sans. Come on, you're smiling. And I, and I hate it. Ugh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to just get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. <laughs> Ugh! I 
will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. I forgot what Sans voice was. <laughs> oh man, look at this motherfucker. This man has scarred me. A lot of my greatest troubles in life can be traced back to this man. I'm kidding. <laughs> but truly, um, do not look up this man's name on the internet. Just don't. Take it as a word from advice. Take it as a word of advice from me, someone who has seen too much. Just stay away from everything relating to Sans on the internet. I promise you, you'll be better. You'll be better for it. Oh, I'm scarred. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Well, you want to get going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just gonna say the same things. What are these rocks? It's this lamp. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. What about this stall? It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. It's like a hot dog stand. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Oh, the music. This is the Snowden music, right? Not like Edward, like Snowden the town. Oh, I love this music so much. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Save. Oh my gosh, I love this game so much. And this is the, the area of the game that gives me the most nostalgia for sure. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Wow, okay. It's like an ender chest, I suppose. Use the box. Um, I don't know, should I? Ooh, there's a tough glove in here. Let's take that at least. Okay, oh. Oh, Snowdrake flutters forth. Um, Snowdrake will, uh, joke. You make a bad ice pun. Is that supposed to be funny? Kind of. Um, Heckle? You tell the Snowdrake that no one will ever love them the way they are. They struggle to make a retort and sink away utterly crushed. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, up or to the right? Let's go up first. Can y'all see the mouse that's on my screen? Okay, I put it away. <laughs> Sorry, I was doing something just now. <laughs> There's a fishing rod here. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Um, I feel like I'm gonna mess up someone's fishing, but I wanna see if I get an item. All that's attached to it to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call, yeah. You send the line back out. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. To the right. Ooh, it's the skellies. So, as I was saying about Undyne... I think the voice has changed again. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sans, oh my god. Is that a human? It is. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh, hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god, Sans! Oh my god, I can't do his voice. Uh, I finally did it! Undyne will, I'm gonna, I'll be so popular, popular, popular! <clears throat> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. 
<laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. I really should have given Sans the low voice, but I can't do a low voice. But every time I hear the noise that goes on when he speaks, my brain tries to default to doing a low voice. I think this is like the lowest I can go. It's like a stupid Homer Simpson voice. Ice Cap struts into view. Let's uh, compliment Ice Cap. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Duh, who doesn't know? Shit. I really, really probably need to be <laughs> on mouse and keyboard, but I don't wanna. Um, we'll ignore it. I guess it's like an ego, ego testicle person. So you manage to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my my hats up here. Shit. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. We'll go ahead and ignore it again. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Fine, I don't care. Ice Cap is desperate for attention. Oh, we can mercy it then. Um, the controls in this game are so weird. Spare. Okay, we are getting some gold. We're just not gonna get any EXP. There's, there's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you wonder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, it's not yet a very famous royal guardsman. There's a camera behind the sentry station. Suspicious. The Truman Show. That's what I was trying to think of earlier, and I couldn't. Absolutely no moving. Moving of what? Oh my god, it's a dog. Did something move? Oh, oh but this is the dog. Okay, we need a dog voice. <clears throat> Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way, does it? Um, pet. Can we pet him? Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Don't move an inch. Okay, I get it. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Can we pet it? You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet? Pat, pet, pot, pet, pot, pat, pot. Um, oh, now we can mercy it. Spare. You won. 30 gold. So, don't something pet me? Something that isn't moving? I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. <laughs> that was a good voice. I shouldn't have wasted it on some random NPC. I should have given that to a real character. <laughs> Someone's been smoking dog treats. Funny. Oh, Sans. Should I try giving Sans the, the doofy Homer Simpson voice? What do we think? Is it too late to change it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. You see a blue attack? Don't move, and it won't hurt you. See, I feel like this voice doesn't fit. Huh, here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? <laughs> when fighting, I think about a blue stop sign. Sure. Is it gonna be an ice puzzle like in um, in Pokemon? It is. <laughs> Funny. So much combat. Lesser dog. What can we do with Lesser Dog? You have to pet it a million times. You barely lifted your hand and Lesser Dog got excited. Pant, pant. <laughs> Cute. Lesser Dog is barking excitedly. Oh, we can already mercy it. Great. How do I get to this sign? I want to read it. North, ice, south, ice, west, ice. East, snowed in town. And ice. <laughs> Well, if East is snowed in town, then we'll go up. Oh, it's a snowman. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. Okay. Um, we'll keep that in mind. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. 
I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. <laughs> For, you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? That looks like planet Earth in his hand. Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Gee, <laughs> that was an incredible animation. <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> He's so stupid. Hold this. Hold this, please. Okay. Try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. That's, again, the wrong voice. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> I was trying to go for like a nasally voice, but... <laughs> I think I should just stop doing the voices. They're so bad. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun, by the way. Did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man. Isn't my brother cool? Hey, thanks. My brother- oh, I don't want to do this dialogue again. Interesting that sometimes they have multiple lines of dialogue, and sometimes they only have one. Okay. <gasps> Hello! I remember you. You sell food, right? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some nice cream? Um... It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15G? I cannot afford that, I'm sorry. Well then, tell your friends. There's ice cream, out in the middle of the woods. I will, I guess. Um... Okay, we can play some golf. Let's do it. Golf. Oh shit, this is gonna be more difficult than I anticipated. <laughs> oh, hello, Sans. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. No. <laughs> You're right. I should charge way more than that. I'm so stingy when it comes to currency in games. Where'd the ball go? Oh, it's back here. Why the hell is it back here? Boom. 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 Oh, this is... This is frustrating. <laughs> Kick. And then we go straight down, hopefully. Okay, that was good enough. And then over here. Oh, it's getting smaller. Don't get smaller. That's... Go in, please. <gasps> I did it! I'm so cool. Purple. Even when you feel trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You are awarded 2G. That seems like a very tiny prize. But all right. I'll accept it. There's two ways to go, it seems. Um, we'll go the way that Sans isn't. Oh, never mind. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right here, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Let's read the paper. Whoa, Monster Kids Word Search. Um... Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? It's a word search. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, um... Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That's easy peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. 
Human, saw this dispute. Which is harder? What is a jumble? I don't even know what a jumble is. Isn't that just a, a, a word search? A crossword is harder, objectively, because there's correct answers. Like, you know, you need to know stuff about the world, which I don't. <laughs> you two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. Just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. Well, I kind of want to go the- oh, there's a save point though. Let's save. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to eat to heat up the spaghetti <laughs> it fills you with determination. This game's humor is so weird sometimes. I want to go up and see what's up. The way that Papyrus was earlier. Come on, come on. Ooh, okay. Uh, smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman white rating can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell, puppy blue rating, smell of rolling around, weird smell, humans, green rating, destroy at all costs. What? I have <laughs> barely any idea. Um, hers and his, probably. Okay. This is the stall that the, the doggo from earlier was in, that I gave that, <laughs> like, Cockney British accent to. We managed to save that accent for someone else. We might reuse it. I only have so many voices. Spaghetti. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold. It's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. <laughs> cool, cool. What about this mouse? Make some mouse noise. Good, good. We'll save one more time and we'll move into Snowden, methinks. Warning, dog marriage. How dare they? How dare they legalize dog marriage in Undertale? Jeez, that's a lot. Ice Cap and Snowdrake confront you sighing, Jerry. <laughs> um, we know how to deal with Snowdrake. What the fuck is that? What was that? Well, that was damage, I think? That was attacking? Is that what attacking looks like in this game? I honestly forgot. Oh, it's, did I accidentally hit fight? Oh, I didn't mean to. My bad, okay. Snowdrake, we need to heckle it. You boo the Snowdrake. Is that what we had to do with the Snowdrake? I honestly forget. Woof, woof. Okay. Snowdrake, do we have to joke? Is that what we have to do? You make a bad ice pun. Wait, sorry, I'm confused on what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I forgot how to how to make these enemies go away. Um Oh, we can mercy two of them. Should we do it? Spare. Ice to meet you. So that one wants a joke to be made? Is that shit. That one looks really difficult. Snowdrake. Do we laugh at its joke? Is that what we're doing? You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. <laughs> Oof. Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. Okay, we can mercy it now. 25 gold. Nice, nice. Um... Honestly, I'm a... I'm a... Ooh. Wow. My intuition just went so hard there, dude. I was like, what is this random square? Let me press X. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Is there more of them, perhaps? More X's? What is this? Hello? Oh, it was a map. Well, I don't feel as smart now. <laughs> I thought it was a secret. Oh my gosh. Look at these metal-ass skeleton dogs. More. I guess we can give the British accent to the dogs. What's that smell? If you're smell, Identify your schmelf. Oh, this song. I remember this song. Oh, do I? <laughs> I thought that was a full song. Hmm. 
there's that weird smell. Oh, this, these are the, the him and her from the his and her um, dogs from before, probably, right? In the stalls. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Oh my god, look at that animation. Yeah, this is definitely them. Doggy assault you. Dogami and Dogaressa. What should we do? Um, oh, we should roll around, right? That's one thing they said. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Take my wife's fleas, don't actually. What are you doing? Oh, oh, how the fuck am I meant to not get hit by that? Are you kidding? The dogs may want to re-smell you. Um, yeah, do that. The dogs re-sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What? Smells like a... Are you actually a little pup, eh? Ooh. Okay. Just stay still. The dogs think that you might be a lost puppy. Um... What? <laughs> okay, maybe I have to do it for dog Ressa as well. Are you sniff? The dogs already know you smell fine. What? Smells like a... Are you actually a little lost pup, eh? Oh shit! Dude. That used to be a fine place before. Um... So now what can I do? Roll around again? You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Number two, Nuzzle Champs 98. Of course we were second. Fuck. I'm so dog shit at this game, pun intended. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. So how do I run away from them? Um, pet them? You pet the dog Ressa. A dog that pets dogs. Amazing. Another one said, what about me? Okay, we have to survive this attack. We simply must. Um, the dogs are practicing for the next couples contest. Contest. Can I pet this one as well? You pet dog me. Whoa, pet by another pup. Shit. This is stressful. Oh. The dog's minds have been expanded. Yes! Oh my god, I did it. Jesus. <laughs> 40 gold, nice. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Okay. I, unless there's a save point right here, I need to go back and save because that was stressful. <laughs> and I think there's a save point just here, right? Yes, okay. Much needed. Much needed. Wish I hadn't wasted that pie now. Um, I'm gonna keep going until I get to Snowden. That's the idea, at least. I forget how long that is. This might be a longer episode. I don't remember it being this long until getting there, though, but that's just me, maybe. Turn every X into a zero, then press the switch. Okay. Like that. Seems simple. Oh, it's... What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Oh, I left it. Really? Wowie, you resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta just so you could share it with me? Fred not human, I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you a pasta you could eat. What? We'll make all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> Man, I wish I hadn't cho chosen that voice for him. Hello? My brother started a suck collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> sock collection, huh? Does he even wear socks? He's a skeleton. He doesn't need to keep his, his toes warm. Human? Huh, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different, and as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the Great Papyrus, 
will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I will try not to give away the answer. Okay. Um, I'm guessing it's like this. Oh, no, it's not like this. I lied. It's very much not like this. Um. Oops, I fucked it up. Oh, does it all have to be triangles? Well, I fucked it up either way. Let's reset. Wait, I didn't read the sign. I, I just assumed the sign would be the same, but turn every X into a zero, then press... Okay, no, they do have to be zeros. Um, well, we have to do any of them that are trapped in between two rocks first. Does that make sense? Um, or they have to be last? Is that maybe the case? <laughs> Um, what if we do it like this? We touch this one, and then we touch this. Fuck, I fucked it up, I think. Yeah, I fucked it up. Ugh, this might take a second. <laughs> um, we need to end in that one that's in between the two rocks there in the middle. That has to be the last one, I think. Um, boom, boom, boom. If we touch this one first, and then we do this. Then I can't leave. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Um, so that has to be like the first thing we do then, surely. Oh, wait, I'm, I think I might. No, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I was like, you can do this, you know. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Um. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to be smart about it. Um, boom, 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 go around, no, that's not gonna work, damn it, how do I, <laughs> I feel like I'm so close, it's like, almost there, <laughs> um, Hello, can you give me a hint? So, you want a hint, huh? Well, I've been looking at the puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all of the X's into zeros. You should try that. Ask again for more great hints. Thanks, Pepperus. I didn't expect him to <laughs> be useful in any way, to be honest, but it was worth a try. Um, kind of feels like we need to, oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> um Oh wait. <gasps> no, that's not gonna work. Never mind. <laughs> How the heck if you do this you can get like so close to doing it. It's just that middle one that's throwing me. I don't get how you do that middle one. This music is so peaceful, too. <laughs> um. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> I think I did it. Okay, we did it. That took way too long. I apologize. <laughs> hit, hit, hit. Jesus, okay. Oof. Wow, you solved it. My advice helped. It really helped you. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> Bye, Papyrus. Where is the next puzzle? This way? Sans, hello. Hey. 
Why didn't you ask for help? I was right here. Oh. <laughs> Is that true? Or are they teasing me? Oh, <laughs> hey, I remember this one. Hey, it's the human. You're going to love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Elphus. I remember Dr. Elphus. You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery slope smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They, they don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Yes, I do. Great, then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Is it actually random? It looks like it's random. Look at the way the little circles are going off the off the off the ground. Oh. <laughs> the funny thing is I was paying so much attention to those those um <laughs> he's just going away, that's so funny. I was paying so much attention to the to the um the instructions because I wanted to actually do it and I forgot about this gag. That's really funny. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps up, next year he'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working. That's really funny. I forgot about that gag entirely. I was really excited to, to try. <laughs> okay. On the floor inside is a box of of what? Of palm raisins. I see. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. Don't mind if I do. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Aren't we all, dog? Aren't we all? Uh, save- Oh, that cool-ass deer! It looks like an Animal Crossing character. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Hello? That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't even know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. I mean, yeah. But the, isn't that just more commendable? Even more commendable? Oh man, there's more puzzles? I said we were going to get all the way to Snowden, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep that promise. Um, I'll go down this way. And then over yonder. And then over yonder. And then... Whoa, we can go diagonally. <gasps> What the hell? It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. It's a snow papyrus. Do you all say papyrus or papyrus? Shit. I say papyrus, but I know it's said differently. Depending on... Actually, I have no idea what it's depending on. <laughs> Maybe it's like an English, like a British English thing to say papyrus. No, it doesn't sound like they would say papyrus. Sounds like they would say papyrus or papyrus more than anything. I don't know, dude. Okay, fuck, I fell. <laughs> okay. Ice puzzles and Pokemon really prepared me for that, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, I had a little hat. Did you see that? Oh my god, there's still so much more. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot how much. Okay, well, we've got two ways to go. Let's go right first. It's a snow puff. What's a snow puff? Woof! There a dog in here? What a tiny dog house. Anything else? Oh. I see a little dog. Hello. Uh huh. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. We went from cute to furry in record time. It's the greater dog. 
What do we think the crater? I think the crater dog wants to play. Crater dog is not excited enough to play with. Okay. Whoa! Jesus! That comes out so quickly. Okay, we want to excite it then. Uh, we'll beckon it. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking its slobber into your face. Gross. Oh my god, how am I supposed to time that? Seeking affection? Well, we'll pet it then. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Fuck. How the hell do you do that? The greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Um, can we play with it now? You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Shit. That's hard, dude. I really need to start playing with mouse and keyboard. I'll do it next episode. You cannot just give up yet. Geo, stay determined. I will. I will stay determined. First death on the record. There you go. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, we're gonna act. First, we're gonna beckon it. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Okay. I managed that one that time. It's seeking affection, so we'll pet it. Curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh fuck, I moved. I should have just trusted myself. We'll play. You make a snowball and it throw it to the dog for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Gritter dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Oh, that was tight. Gritter dog wants some TLC. What does that mean? <laughs> pet? As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Okay. Fuck. Pet capacity is at 40%. Pet. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog plops over with its legs hanging in the air. Oh, that was close. Greater dog is contented. Okay, we can mercy it now. Spare. I honestly think that doing this like pacifist run or like, you know, not fighting anything is more fun than fighting stuff because it means that everything is like a puzzle. All of the combat encounters, you know? Oh, it's just a little dog in a big suit of armor. Oh, <laughs> I don't think that's, well, you know, I'm not going to tell it what to do. Um. We'll continue this way, and then we'll go down when we reach the end of this path. Oh, this seems to be the way, actually. Okay, we'll go back. Human! This is your, is, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. The dog. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing up violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, in this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. And away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Mwah! <laughs> Okay. Rip. We'll talk to- well, let's talk to Sans first in case he disappears. And then we'll keep moving. I don't know what my brother is gonna do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Oh, that's scary. I do understand blue attacks. That doesn't mean that they're easy to do. <laughs> case in point, that armor dog. 
It's a long ass. What the hell was that? Did y'all see that? On the left side of the screen, it was some like green shit. Scary. I don't know if that was a bug or if that was like intended to happen. I don't know. Oh my gosh. There's spiders in there. Okay, combat. Whoa. That thing is awesome looking. Griff Trot confronts you. Um, what can we do? We can decorate it. You had some googly eyes you found on the ground. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes. Okay, maybe we want to take stuff off then. Uh, undecorate. You remove the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing. Okay. Ooh. Let it laments its lack of hands, probably because it wants to undecorate itself, right? You remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. That's a little better. We won't fuck. That took away five? Undecorate. You remove a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. It's actually removing the stuff from the sprite. That's really cool. Uh, 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 uh. Undecorate. You remove the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. A weight has been lifted. Griffith's problems have been taken away. Great. Spare it. Hell yeah. We have very little health, so we'll see how this goes. Ooh, fancy. Whoa, it's like a freaking fairy fountain from Zelda. It's a door. It's a door. That has, that has freaking, that's Toriel's symbol, no? We turn off all the mushies. We'll let the door open. It's a door. How do I know which mushies to keep on and which to turn off? I guess there's only so many combinations, but I don't really want to do them all. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, secret for another time, I guess. <laughs> I just came back here to heal before we keep going, and look at this thing. Seems like the base of a snow dog. It's grown, but where's the dog? Okay, we're crossing the bridge one more time, and we're going to move forward into Snowden. We are finally at Snowden. Okay, well, I was kind of hoping there would be- oh, there is a save point. Great, let's save, and that will be it for us. For today, at least. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Sweet. Okay, everybody. Well, that is going to be it for the second episode of the Undertale playthrough. I'm really, really enjoying myself. This is absolutely the game that I remember the most. I don't remember the specifics about like story beats and characters and stuff like that. I just remember the vibes. I remember Sans and Papyrus and Snowden Town and the wonderful music. So this is definitely the part that I'm most like nostalgic for which makes me even more excited to continue playing and go into areas of the game that I don't remember as well. I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, episode and this playthrough as much as I am enjoying replaying this game. And if you have, I really encourage you to leave a like and a comment. It really helps motivate me to make more videos, especially more longer series like this. And if you want to continue watching this playthrough, I also recommend that you subscribe so that you know when new videos come out. I know that I would really, really appreciate that. That being said, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see y'all next time. Later!